Hello, this is Cleantech Business Club once again from Brussels, from Euro Electric Power Summit. And uh, we are discussing uh, today about a very important topic, which is related to geopolitical changes actually in the world and how these changes are influencing the energy landscape. And we are together with uh, Simone Mori, director of NL Group here in Europe. And uh, Simone, a few years ago, I was speaking with uh, Francesco Starace in Rome. So we discussed about the future of the world, yes? And then many of the things which he have foreseen in the past actually worked out. And now I would like to ask you what will be the next step. So what is your vision for the new energy landscape in Europe, taking into account all these geopolitical changes? And how do you see the role of the leading utilities? Well, I think that what is happening now in Europe in terms of uh, price crisis, uh, uh, supply crisis connected to the Russian import uh, will just accelerate the process of where going. Uh, we were in the right direction, right direction being uh, investing in renewables, electrifying the final demand in order to bring renewable energy to the houses, to the factories of our citizens and our companies, and uh, with a, a certain track defined by European targets. So it is clear that uh, the gas crisis makes even more urgent the need to carry out these investments, to accelerate the achievement of targets, to create the momentum to unleash all the investments we need. We have the technologies as the leading companies, we have uh, the financial power, we have, uh, I believe, a quite good set of rules. So what we have to do now is to focus on uh, delivery, implementation. Uh, we were mentioning, we were discussing this topic now in a conference. Look at what the European Commission proposed, for example, in the Repower EU. Strong impact of European uh, measures for accelerating the permitting process, which is today basically the most important barriers for the development of renewable projects. It's evident. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a, a brand new move which, that the Commission put in place just in order to react to the crisis. Our point as a leading utility is that we have to bring our technologies the service of the not only the energy transition but also the service of of european citizens and companies in order to manage the crisis we have i believe that we are on the right path what we have to do is just to accelerate what was already in our plans because i think that uh, in the past uh, there was a very difficult to explain to politicians what does it mean disruption yes because they were thinking more in the linear way but now with the COVID crisis yes and now with the war they see that uh, things can change dramatically very quickly. Our world is a world of non-linearity. Technology development is a world of non-linearity. Then you have some process which goes ahead step by step and then suddenly it explodes. And this is what we saw uh, in the past, for example, with the development of renewable technologies. Look at the, at the, uh, at the drop in cost of, of, of photovoltaic panels. It has been incredible. Uh, look at what is happening now with the adoption of electrical mobility, for example. This is another, we are in the middle of another non-linear process. The improvement of the quality and the reduction cost on batteries, for example, which is one of the key technologies for leading the, the energy transition. There are many non-linearities. And of course, there is the external, the external world, which is changing around us. I mean, four years ago, nobody would have bet on something like the pandemics, uh, the Ukraine no. crisis. So, I think that what we have to do again is to react faster because we need, we must be fast. We, we have to speed up the pace of change, but also don't go ahead of the mainstream, which is the, the, the process which had already been defined at European level. So the, you know, the uh, New Green Deal, the Fit for 55, the packages that Europe is trying to put forward because uh, that's the right direction again. And what we are discovering is that. Uh, uh, renewables are the solution not only, not only for the uh, climate but also for reducing our dependency on fossil fuels imports. But it's also a great business, yeah? That's our business, that's our business model. This is a, the area where we started to be pioneering this transformation many years ago, more than 10 years ago. And uh, this is where we are working out in order to keep the leadership as European company 
all around the planet, but especially in Europe, because this is badly needed for our cities and our companies again. I like so much uh, that you said transformation, yes, because many people they speak about transition. And the transition is, uh, is, is when you go from here to there, but what you are looking at is, is there, what is there. There is a decarbonized energy dependent era. So, Simone, just in a few bullet points, what are the game changers during the clean tech and electric decade? Massive deployment of renewables together with digitalization of, of, of grids and electrification, that's technology, and they go together. You might not have a, a renewable deployment in such a massive way without a lot of digital in the networks, and you may not have uh, digitalization uh, if it doesn't make any sense if you don't electrify the final, uh, the final consumers. That's the first one. Number two, uh, policy making. Policy making means clear direction. I, I believe we do have it. Coherent model at the European level. I think we have to struggle in order to improve this point and uh, all the tools in order to accelerate the transformation. And again, this, uh, this has very much to do with uh, how governments work, how local administration work, especially in Europe. But uh, I think that there is now the right uh, uh, the, 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 right the right mood, moment. the right moment, and uh, with uh, the clear perception that we need to do in this direction. Okay. The last question, because you are one of the leaders, one of the biggest, but also you are one of the biggest supporters of your electric, yes, like a community. And how do you think, uh, how important is this, together we are stronger? Well, it is very important, it is very important. The power sector is demonstrating that we have the tools, we have the solution for the crisis, and we have the solution for the uh, energy transition process. And uh, working together, aligning our positions, uh, showing that the transition is good for everyone. We are ready to be 100% renewable in a quite short period of time. Fit for 55 is not, a, is not a headline, it's a project, it's a concrete project and we are part of it. Okay, so last but not least, I would like to really thank you and also whole team of NL because uh, this is the pioneering utility in the world who started actually the clean tech transformation within the sector. Thank great, you so much. Great, thanks, Gracias, Mila. Sorry.